So for today's Trello Tip Tuesday, I thought we could talk about courses. We like making them, we like taking them. So I'd like for us to share today how we're using Trello to keep track of the courses that we're purchasing and taking. So I want to share with you how I've started using Trello for my courses, how it's helping me stay on track, keep it in one place. And I'd love to hear from you how you are using Trello to keep track of your courses. Okay, so inside of my business blueprint, I list all of my courses right at the end. And then what I've started doing is I am pretty much a TCC junkie. As you can see, I've got all, almost all their courses. And what I do is I directly put the links to the courses in here so it's easy for me to access. And then behind it, I can indicate how far through the course I am. So what I like to do is I focus on a course for a week or two and I try and schedule times. And what I do, like last week, I started with the Snap Style and Sell. I list all the chapters in here and then I can go through. So maybe I only have time for one chapter in that day. You can also, if you want to, at the end, say how long all the videos will take you. So you can put maybe in brackets that the three videos in there will take you 30 minutes so you know what to schedule for in your calendar. And then you can, can tick them off. And so what I like is that it gives me a percentage over here. So you can take this percentage or it also, when you're in the course, it sells, tells you how much of the course you've completed. So this isn't teachable. That's one way for you to keep track and to see that you're making progress. And so what I do is once I sit down, I usually watch the overview or the welcome video. And then while they're chatting, I'll just quickly make a note of the um, module breakdown over here. And then because they indicate how long every chapter is, you can just say, okay, so basic setup will take 10 minutes. So I jump back into my trailer board and I could say 10 minutes. Okay, and then I've done, kind of done that one. Okay, so this is how I've been doing it. I list my courses over here, and then inside, right at the top, I make a note of the direct links. And then what I've started doing is I've started tracking my notes right inside of Trello as well. So because Snap Style and Sell is their IG course, I've just put that directly into my social media board. So it lives right here in my social media board. And here's where I make my notes. Here's what you can do. If you like making your notes in Google Docs, you can just take this link. So you can make your notes, copy the link and post that right in here. Usually when you add a link and you wanna make it shorter, in the previous video, I show you how to do that. If it's a Trello URL, so what you would do if you wanted to share it is you could just go over here in Trello, share, and then there's that URL. And then you would do exactly the same if you're attaching it from Evernote or from Google Docs. So you would add that URL, you would just put it inside brackets to make it shorter, and then you can access your notes from there. So that's one way. And so if you like to make notes and write them down, what you can maybe do is write them down and then just make a quick summary for yourself and then put it right inside of a Trello card or a description. So this guy over here, what I've started doing is I have a tag here that says social media notes. And then the notes that will just help me that things that I want to remember as I'm going about trying to get smarter with my social media, I can easily go in here and kind of see what was the tidbits that I got from the lessons that were most helpful for me. What I do is I just bullet point them. Um, I make them into like categories. So this has been really helpful for me to feel that I finally have a plan to keep track of them, to easily access them and to feel that I'm, I'm actually going through them. And what I like about going through them like focusing maybe a week or two on one course is that I implement it more that way rather than scheduling it all in one day and then not implementing any of it. I would love to hear your tips when it comes to how you're using Trello to keep track of your notes and your courses. 
Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.